greetings. Today you find me on the interior of my Focus RS because I am going to be doing a big detailing session on the inside of the car. And the cherry on top is going to be this, the Auto Finesse Ceramics Interior Protection Kit. So the ceramics is like ceramic coating for our interior surfaces. So before we get to sealing anything, we need to make sure that the interior is nice and clean. And I'm going to start with the hard surfaces on the interior in here. And I'm going to start with the glass. And to clean the glass, I'm going to use Auto Finesse Crystal. Okay, so this is like the dirtiest window in the world. So this is where I'm going to start. I'm going to spray into my microfiber and then just wipe it around. Just because if I spray openly, I could get all this alcoholy stuff on surfaces I don't necessarily want it on. And then I've got another microfiber just to buff it off, get it to a nice crystal finish. So that's that window nice and done. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process on all of the other glass surfaces on the interior of the car. Okay, now the glass is all nice and clean, I'm going to move on to the rest of the hard surfaces next. So, hard plastics, hard plastics in the back of the seats, and then I'll move into the front of the car and do the rest of the dashboard. So to clean all this, I'm going to use Auto Finesse Total Interior Cleaner. We just spray it on, move it around, and then we use another microfiber to remove any excess, and that's it. Again, I'm just going into the microfiber, even though it says that you can just spray it directly on just so that we don't get any overspray in places where we don't want it. Okay, so front and back seats are mostly plastic, but they both have this little bit of leather, so we're just gonna work around that and not get the all finesse total on the leather. We're gonna use something else for the leather, which is a bit more specific for clean leather. So that's a pretty good rubbed in layer of auto finesse total. So now I switch over to a different microfiber. <laughs> and just buff off the excess. All right, beautiful. So that's the plastic on this door done. So now I just need to repeat the exact same process here, over there, and then I'll move into the front. Basically just any other hard surface, exactly the same process. Okay, now that we're done with all of the hard surfaces, we're ready to move on to the soft surfaces. So that includes leather in the door cards, leather in the center console, leather in the seats, Alcantara on the seats, and the carpets. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the leather, and to clean the leather, I'm gonna use Carbon Collective Leather Wipes. These are like super quick, super easy, just literally just wipe, and that is it. There's no need to like mess about with microfibers or you know spraying anything or anything. It's just super duper convenient. So this is how they come. You get a deep clean and a light clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the leather a good wiping over with a deep clean wipe, and then we're gonna go over the same areas with a light clean to pick up any dirt that is loosened, and then that will be the leather good to go. these out. Now the difference between the light clean and a deep clean is the deep clean, if you open it out, you can feel it's like got these like dimples on, they're like kind of hard little dimples, so they sort of go down into the green of the leather and bring up any dirt, which is awesome. So, I mean, it's literally as simple as wipe. Of course, being wipes as well, I mean, it makes it really easy for us to not overlap onto our Alcantara. We can go right to the edge just with our fingers and we're good. 
So we just repeat that process across all of the leather surfaces in the car. And then like I said before, we'll use the light clean wipe, go over it all again, lift up any excess dirt that we didn't get with this wipe, and then the leather will be done. Of course, with this bit, we need to make sure that we push up these um, headrests so they can get right underneath here and also get right to the bottom of the actual headrest itself. All right, so I've done all the leather in the back seats. Not too much dirt came off, so that's kind of encouraging. Obviously, they weren't that dirty, but still good to do that. This has sort of lost a bunch of its uh, wetness, so I'm going to need a new one before I move on to the front. Um, so that's done now. So I'm just going to go on, like I said before, to the light clean. Just go over it all again, and then that will be the rear seats done. Well, the leather in the rear seats done. You can see this is just very much a flat kind of wipe. No real dimples, so that's the difference. Okay, so that is the leather in the rear seats, fully clean. So you can see it's still a little bit wet, we just need to let that dry out fully, and then that leather will be ready to be sealed with our Keramics kit. So, all that's left to do on these seats in the rear is the Alcantara middle sections. So we're gonna go back to our Auto Finesse Total, nice microfiber, just spraying into the microfiber, rubbing it around, good to go. Okay, so the seats have pretty much finished drying, but I figure I might as well just finish off all the cleaning in the back here. So I've got my trusty old Dyson, I've got it whacked up to max. I've already removed the mats, so I'm just gonna give the carpets a good old vacuum, then I'm gonna use Total on the carpets, and then they will be ready to be sealed as well. All right, I'm gonna start off with sealing the leather with the leather coating. Now, Auto Finesse give you a bunch of these applicator wipey thingies. So what we do is we spray this into this, and then just wipe it on. So this is the bit that you definitely need to be wearing your gloves for. So of course, you can see it going on wet, and we want to just not get it on our Alcantara, so we just need to be careful around the edge. a nice even coating. So just whenever this applicator thing, it started to look a wee bit sort of frayed. I just folded it over and got a nice uh, fresh side. Um, they're quite big applicators, so there's plenty of scope to do that. Okay, so that is the leather in the back seats, sealed and curing now. So now we need to wait for like 12 hours for that to fully cure. Now we can move on to the next part. I've got the fabric coating from the Keramics kit. Now, this is what I need to do onto the Alcantara, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until tomorrow for the full cure to finish on the leather, and then I'm going to do the Alcantara just in case there's any overspray, because of course it is a spray bottle, and the instruction is just to say spray it on. So I don't wanna get any overspray that's gonna stick real hard to the leather. So if I wait for that to cure, then um, it shouldn't be so much of a big deal if I get a wee bit of overspray, I can just wipe it right off. Um, so in the meantime, I am going to seal the carpets. So I have it's the exact same kind of spray bottle, so just give it a light mist. Simple as that. Okay, so I'm in the front now. I have another leather wipe, one of the deep cleans from Carbon Collective. So now I'm going to use this. I'm gonna first do uh, like some of the miscellaneous items. So steering wheel, door cards, I'll do in the front and I'll do in the back and the storage bin on the center console jobby. Also, yes, um, the there's the gator, then there's the handbrake as well. And then if there's any life left in it, I might be able to do the seats, the shells with it. There is more Alcantara than there is leather on the shells. So I might get it out of this or I can just use another one. You do get a whole pile of them in the pack, um, so it's no big deal if I have to open another one. So let's go for steering wheel first. Yeah, again, not too much. I must have very clean hands. <laughs> So now I just need to repeat that exact process on all of the other door cards too. 
Okay, so that's all the leather deep cleaned. Now we just need to do our light clean wipe and then that is all the leather clean. Okay, now that our leather is nice and clean, we need to move on to the Alcantara of our seats. So I just went and got a fresh microfiber. We're back to our Auto Finesse Total Interior Clear. And just like we've done in the back, I'm gonna spray it into this, wipe it around, and we're good to go. All right, so now our seat cleaning is done. We're ready to get to the ceiling. So just like the rear, we're gonna start with the leather. I'm gonna do the miscellaneous items first. So start up here, 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 steering wheel, and then I will get to the seat, then door card, then I'll jump over and do the seat and door card on the other side. Our leather has started its 12 hour cure. So while that's going on, I am going to get to work on the carpets in the front. So first step as before is using our Dyson to get a good old vacuum. Then we'll use Auto Finesse Total to clean it. And then we will seal it with the ceramics. So I'm pretty happy with how these came up, um, but now before I put them back in the car, I figured I might as well test out just how good this auto finesse sealant stuff is. So I've got some water. Oh yeah, look at that. Just runs right off. Okay, so now our leather is nice and cured fully. Now I'm gonna move on and do the fabric coating on the Alcantara. So just to avoid getting so much overspray, I'm gonna use this piece of card and just kind of like move it along as I spray along. And then whatever overspray there is on the leather, I'm just gonna use microfiber that I've got here in my pocket just to remove that. And then that will be that three hours. Then we'll come back and do another coat. And then another three hours after that. And that will be the rear fully done. Well, there we go. That is our interior detailing complete. Everything is looking lovely and clean. All of our soft materials are nice and sealed, thanks to the ceramics kit from Auto Finesse. Now, one thing to point out is that our hard surfaces are not sealed, they're not protected. Now, interestingly, this ceramics kit, it says interior protection kit, and it actually goes as far as saying on the back, the Ceramics Interior Kit offers all you need to coat every surface of your vehicle's cockpit, which is technically incorrect because it only really does your seats, essentially. If you want to seal all your plastics, for example, this will not do it. You're going to have to go elsewhere and get something else. And one thing you could do is go to Carbon Collective and get something like this, which is Oracle. This is a really versatile ceramic coating. You can use it on your paint outside. You can use it on your plastic trim on the inside. You can use it on your plastic trim on the outside. Very, very handy stuff. Um, I might use this because I've got it in my hand, or I might actually go and get some platinum trim from Carbon Collective and then use this for something else in the future. Haven't quite decided yet, but yeah. So I would say this is a pretty good kit. It's pretty decent for the money. It works really well for what it has in there. It's really handy and simple to use. 
but it's a bit of an incomplete kit. So yeah, that is the end of this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content to come very, very soon. Thank you once again. Goodbye.